Hey guys, Scout with Brian here. Gonna take you today through a sample NBA scouting report. This would be something that uh, typically an advanced scout will send in from the road to the coaching staff showing pretty much uh, the other team's whole playbook, some main details. Differs a little bit from the actual game plan, which at least for us was one page front and back given to the players and coaches. Uh, this more of a long-winded full you know playbook with all the info again that the advanced scout has gathered from the road make sure you thumb up subscribe scout with brian uh on youtube and instagram as well as the podcast uh let's dive into it though as you can see up at top this is from our game against golden state back in 2016 times are a little bit different but typically you'd have obviously whole depth chart up at top uh coaches love to know you know top three-point shooters, worst free-throw shooters, uh, obviously, you know, like I said, on the game plan, uh, which was done more by the video staff and coaches, uh, you'd probably, you know, take away the, uh, the guys with one or two attempts, because, you know, I don't think Andrew Bogut, uh, despite what Jay Williams might think was the uh, best three-point shooter on Golden State, but anyway, you see, you know, a whole bunch of info, you see some offensive and defensive stats, obviously now, uh, you know, much more likely to be pace-adjusted, uh, offensive rating, defensive rating, things of that nature, again, this is just kind of some generic stats uh, to give to the coaching staff, key plays, a list of their main play calls, and what that action entails, uh, obviously, loop post, zipper to Post splits uh, out of that is a pretty big action. They still run a ton of, uh, as you see, the key plays continue. Uh, and then as we go further down, I don't know why. Scouts, for whatever reason, love to write in all caps, but you see a whole bunch of general uh, offensive notes, just uh, things to look out for that I guess you could slow down and read on your own if you wanted to really be a junkie. You see a breakdown sort of detailing uh, what their transition early offense is. You see 21 is a common name for pistol action. They run a lot of drags, things of that nature. Early attack Steph, obviously that guy still pretty good, I think, at basketball. Uh, and then you see, again, the plays broken down by play type, uh, and then what the play call is. So within post-ups, they run 21 down, they run punch, they run loop post, they run slice. Uh, you see they don't run many isos. Here are all their wing pick and roll play calls. Wedge roll is a common Spurs action that's known as wedge roll throughout the league. Some high pick and rolls that they run. Other pick and rolls, continuity sets, out of bounds, SOB, side out of bounds, BOB, baseline out of bounds, ATO, after timeout play, EOQ, end of quarter, EOG, end of game plays, put the ball in Steph Curry's hands, makes sense to me, uh, some gener general defensive notes, and then Again, details on how they play transition, how they play post-ups. They ice wing pick and rolls and switch sometimes. Uh, weak up high, force the ball handler to their weak hand. Uh, other things of that nature, yada, yada, yada. How they defend screening situations. How they play a little zone defense, although it doesn't look like they did. Um, and then you see here... The starters, their main stats, like I said, uh, in the actual game plan itself, the video staff, we'd put in, you know, three or four bullet points on each guy, their tendencies, the advanced scout, being on the road, seeing 29 games a month in 29 different cities, you know, wouldn't have time to always update this um, on every single player, so uh, look at baby Steph, baby Clay there, so again, this is, uh, you know, not something that was used heavily by the coaching staff, this is just kind of filler information, uh, as you see the whole uh, Warriors of old there. Now we get the diagrams, the fun part. Key plays, 21, like I said, pistol action, commonplace, really commonplace today, uh, in today's NBA. Delay, super common still. The Warriors, really kind of the ones that originated it with Draymond at the five spot. Jokic, you see a ton there now, you know, playing through the big, playing split game on both sides, uh, pin downs, back picks, whole bunch of options. You see all just the options detailed out of it. There's a whole bunch of kind of random things that they could do. Drag, early pick and roll in transition. That's what a drag is. Early ball screen. Uh, you see kind of the different angles, different ways that they run it. Uh, early post green. This is on here to show detail the post splits. Throw it to green in the post. Again, usually not doing that to actually post Draymond. They're doing it to get to their split action, which they run so well. You know, it could be Steph. Uh, flaring off this screen, he could back cut it, 
this guy could slip it, uh, you know, they play a whole bunch of different games with it, read it, so on and so forth. Floppy, still a common action across the whole NBA, uh, Warriors included. Loop post, another way to get to those post splits. Strong, motion strong, a San Antonio Spurs staple swing, stagger away, uh, post occupied there uh, into little flex action ultimately at the end. Here you see that wedge roll that I talked about. You see kind of notes sometimes underneath the plays if it's, say, Barnes uh, at the small four back then. Uh, and then you see here all the early offense diagrams, double drag here, corner empty, corner filled. Dribble at, this is still a pretty common play for them. It's a dribble at the corner, kind of back cut from the corner. Uh, decoy, side, pick and roll, and then usually it'll look like they're setting up a stagger over here. Top guy will X off, cut away, so it ends up being a single pin down, uh, generally for Steph. Sometimes for Michael Mulder, uh, but he's so good at you know reading the screen, reading how you play it, uh, and finding a way to get open, as you see it kind of in a couple of diagrams there. Some more early offense, as you can see. A uh, lot of different plays, but also a lot of different just read and reacts, right? Strong flex, you know, these aren't uh, 15 different uh, play calls. It's just one play call, but it's showing you all the different options, all the things they could do uh, out of that flex cut. Uh, basic swing action there. Early offense goes on and on and on. Here's some half-court sets, kind of continuity, motion stuff, elbow, floppy. Uh, loop, again, loop. Uh, generally, loop in the NBA is... Uh, key for a zipper screen, something I actually talked through in my terminology series the other day, but loop is this zipper cut right here, uh, and then loop trips would be into triples, loop pick uh, looks like into kind of a flex action, uh, so loop, uh, again, just that indicates the zipper screen. So there's a lot of these, a lot of these words that kind of are commonplace terminology things uh, around the NBA that once you get a, a hang of them, so here's Again, loop, zipper, rub, high pick and roll. So, uh, again, a few different teams. There's like, you know, maybe three different uh, terms around the league. Like some people call this loop. Some people call it zip. Um, you know, some people call it fist for the high pick and roll. But generally speaking, the terminology is pretty common. So, um, you know, loop, rub, this might be, you know, 15 teams play call for this. Five teams might call it something slightly different, and then ten teams might call it zip rub. You know, it's a copycat league. A lot of teams have similar type play calls. Oklahoma action, that's basically double drag, special double drag with a shooter setting the first screen. So after they come off it, uh, the big goes back and pins for the first screener. Wizards like this action for Bradley Beal a lot. You see some rub four, rub five, simple high pick and rolls. Post-up plays, again, which they run usually into their post splits. Back then, Livingston, slice two hold, that was his play. Uh, flex screen into a post-up for him. ATO plays, favorites, you know, usually you don't have play calls for those because they're, you know, just plays that they like to run out of a timeout set, side out of bounds. You see diagrams here. Here's that loop again, zipper into quick. Quick usually means pin down. Again, loop rub, zipper into high pick and roll. Deep corner kind of specialty plays at times. You see baseline out of bounds sets, low clock specials sometimes. End of quarter, this they've been running for like eight years straight and they still get good stuff out of it almost every end of quarter. It's usually Steph setting a setting a pin down for a big to come into a high and then Steph comes off this pin down and somehow it still works even though everybody in the world knows what's coming. Uh, but yeah, that's your example of a NBA uh, scouting report. Hope you enjoyed it. If you really enjoy my videos, make sure you come to our watch party tonight, Hot Mike. Hot mic in the App Store, Hot M-I-C. Use the code SCOUT, all caps. I will be live calling both these games tonight, and there's also a $50 cash giveaway for each game. That's right. Just go on the app, make your picks pregame. You can win $50 cash each game if your picks are the most accurate. Again, Hot Mic app or HotMIC.io. Use the code SCOUT, all caps, to hear me call the game live, break down the X's and O's and tendencies live, uh, live chat, whole bunch more on Hot Mic. A lot of fun things coming and live calls throughout the playoffs. Thanks for watching. Scout with Brian again. Make sure you thumb up, hit that subscribe button, uh, and talk soon.